So guys, right, the lowest score ever. Absolutely remarkable. Cameron Smith, we're definitely looking at one of the best putters here of all time. He's got the statistics already to prove it. And uh, what we saw last year was the lowest 18 hole total. He had 18 putts. Now, if you think this is good, wait till you see some of the moves in this golf swing. And I dare say we're going to be seeing someone, if you're putting this good, you know, it's, uh, it's just a matter of time until uh, the major championships come. So let's get in there and have a look at really this uh, remarkable modern day action where we look at the hallmarks of great ball striking. Something in this video for everyone. Let's get started. So guys, let's have a look at this motion. We'll just let it play through first. Cameron Smith, what a golf swing this is. And the more I look at it, the more I realize how good it is. Now I'll explain some of these averages of movement, the PGA averages of movement. How pure is that for a motion? What a ball striker. The closer you get to the PGA averages of movement, the more you understand about it, the better you hit it, all right? And this is what we show you on worldclassgolf.com. There's a thousand videos on there. So we're showing you really information that's proven from Dr. Robert J. Neal, biomechanics specialist, one of the best in the world. We've got lines, we've got angles, we've got facts, and I'm gonna show you how to get in there and teach yourself, become a better ball striker. Right, have a look at the grip, it's a strong one. We've got the left hand turned in slightly, right hand slightly underneath. And people, you know, getting your grip right, get a stronger grip, you hit it further. You know, it's like people coming for lessons and investing time and money and, and unfortunately not gripping correctly. It's almost like sitting in a, in a sports car and you haven't got a steering wheel. Really hard to do anything from there. Let's have a look at some of these lines. We're doing a line up the left leg. This is what we call the wall. And we get a good gauge here of the couple of lines around the head. Now, it really is a wonderful pivot. There's good width, there's good coil. The head drops down about an inch. Now, when your head moves down about an inch, you're gonna build up some wonderful torque. You're gonna get some pressure moving downwards. This is a, also a great way to set off a, a top chain reaction on your motion. And it just uh, really sets up a wonderful pivot in itself. Let's have a look at uh, the lines here. And we get an idea of good structure. 83 degrees up the right leg. Get on the belt buckle up the back. We've got 83 degrees. How's that for symmetry? And one inch down and into these, you know, 83, 84 degrees in your pivot, it's almost really difficult to hit it poorly from there in itself, right? Now we'll get a line up over the golf ball. I love this checkpoint here. And what we're looking at is getting your right knee. We've got around four to six inches of lateral shift. We're gonna see the head move down now a couple more inches. And this is a great way to hang on to your angles and hit it with a bent right arm. And, and look at all this lag. And look at that right knee hitting the finish line before the hands do, you see that there? Closing up the gap with the knees. Great extension through the ball. Lead shoulder lifting up. Let's have a look at this impact position. When you're looking at shaft lane, we've got 17 degrees on this shot or something like that. It's absolutely ridiculous. Have a look at this, 74, 16 degrees of shaft lane. This line illustrating 90, which is zero. This system I'm using is the best analyzing system in the world, used by Tiger Woods, Butch Harmon, Sean Foley, you name it. The V1 Pro system, $99 on worldclassgolf.com. It's normally around 500 bucks. Guys, it's just an insane deal. So guys, before we have a look at the back view, have a look at this lead side extension, this lead side lifting up. And I'm gonna give you a great checkpoint here. Watch the knees closing up through the ball. And when we get arms parallel to the ground here, I'm gonna draw a line down now from the back of the ribs here. And we'll see it landing out in front of the lead foot. Now this is what creates some great separation. All right, this is a great place to be. We can see how much of that lead arm, we can still see that left arm. And that shoulder is really up and over the head. This will help players come from the inside. And when we shallow out the plane, this is one of the areas, right? The knees are moving together and into the small of the back here. And this is a great drill for people to get in there. We've got another video coming up on that shortly. But what we're seeing from a lot of club golfers, we're not seeing this separation, but they don't even look at this area of the swing. And we'll be seeing this type of line pointed down between the feet and a big gap between the knees. And getting the knees to work together and getting the left side to move up, starting from here and swinging back and just getting your reps in, becoming a better ball striker, guys, worldclassgolf.com. Let's have a look now at this swing from the back view because it really does have the, the key movements that we're looking for. And I'll just click on the right thing here. Let's have a look. So from the back view, 
looking at this club face control, right? This is one of the most important elements of great ball striking, your wrist alignments, club head control. Just this simple clock up over the face, up to one o'clock, boom, there you've got it. Work on that. Just heaps of reps, getting your drills in. Shoulder tilts, not just turns. When we're looking at the tilt here at the top of the swing, 39 to 45 degrees. Most amateur players are seeing around 30 or something there, high 20s. That's a great place to be. And getting all these positions, these four or so major positions in the swing, lead wrist slightly bowed. Look at the club face actually there. It's just slightly bowed. Look at that club face because of the stronger grip. If I had my time again, you know, looking at stronger club face positions just has so many advantages. We don't have to release it as hard and all, all those type of things. The club comes down, the head pulls back. Why does the head pull back? Let's have a look at that. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Well, it shadows out a plane. When a head moves forwards, it steepens it. Okay, so you're going to see most of these players pulling their head back, especially players that come in a little bit higher and, or have a swing that's a little bit more upright or comes in a little bit higher, they pull their head back and he brings that club in wonderfully behind the hands. And this is the area, people, we've been showing you for so long. Look at that lead wrist, nice and flat. The club coming in behind the hands and one of the other major checkpoints, have a look at this club face control. This is pure. See that club face pointed up because he's got it in a strong position. He doesn't have to release it. Left side extension. And when the arms are parallel, this is a great checkpoint. Around parallel here, lying down from the shoulders. And you're going to be seeing it just pointed just slightly outside the golf ball. What a golf swing that is. And it's just hitting so many, just ticking all the boxes. Pure motion, guys. If you're looking for online lessons, have a look at worldclassgolf.com. Your online lessons are this side-by-side -side example, your tailored drills, your tailored exercises. Uh, if you want to have WhatsApp contact with me, you can. That's possible to set up. We've got Dr. Robert J. Neal, who's currently making videos in America. Uh, plenty of stuff coming your way there. We've got a thousand videos, and it's a place to be rather than jumping from video to video and looking at this and looking at that. Work with the plan. Look at the averages of movement and have a look at the tailored practice programs there. Get in touch with me if you want to improve your golf. I'm teaching people from all around the world. Guys, thanks for watching.